In this video, I'm going to find the unit normal to the surface, which is given by the equation x minus y plus z squared is equal to 3 at the point 1, 2, 5. So given uh, that surface x minus y plus z squared equals to 3 at the point 1, 2, 5, to find uh, the unit normal, I would have to use uh, the properties of uh, the gradient of a scalar field. From the properties of uh, grad phi, we know that grad phi is normal to any level k phi is equal to a constant c. So in this case, we are having a scalar field at the left-hand side there, the x minus y plus z squared is equal to a constant on the right-hand side. So I will take that highlighted part as my phi. So we have phi of x, y, z is equal to x minus y plus z squared. So for us to find that unit normal, we have to find grad phi first because we are saying that from the property grad phi is normal to any level k phi is equals to c so we now move on to the next step for any real valued function phi the gradient of phi which you denote by grad phi is the vector partial derivative of phi with respect to xi plus partial derivative of phi with respect to yj plus partial derivative of phi with respect to zk so I will write my grad phi there, as it is by the definition. Then substitute the phi that we are having there. We are saying it's x minus y plus z squared. So we have the partial derivative of the phi with respect to x, partial derivative of the phi with respect to y, j, plus the partial derivative of the phi with respect to z, k. And then I will now move on to the next part to evaluate uh, those uh, partial derivatives. So for the first one there, we are differentiating with respect to x, treating y and z as constants. So differentiate with respect to x, we we'll get a 1 there. So the 1 by the i, so we we'll remain with the i there. And on this part here, we are now differentiating with respect to y, treating x and z as constants. So the derivative of minus y there will give us a minus 1. The x and uh, the z, we are treating them as constants, so we have zeros. So we we'll remain with minus j. Now looking at uh, this part here, we are treating x and y as constants. We differentiate with respect to z and we get 2z. Then multiply by the k, then we have 2zk. So what we are having there is our grad phi is i minus j plus 2zk. We then go on and evaluate grad phi at the given point 1, 2, 5. We are saying x equals to 1, y equals to 2, z equals to 5. And you put it into the grad phi there, and we would have grad phi at the point 1, 2, 5 is i minus j plus 10k. So, what we have found there, that's the grad phi. That's the normal to the curve x minus y plus z squared is equal to 3. But the question is asking us for a unit normal. What we are saying is this one here is a normal. To find a unit normal vector given any vector, we divide that vector by its norm. So for the unit normal here, it will be a grad phi divided by the norm of grad phi. So our grad phi is i minus j plus 10k. So we def i minus j plus 10k divided by the norm of i minus j plus 10k. Then uh, I will evaluate this norm there, and our um, expression becomes i minus j plus 10k divided by the square root of 1 squared plus minus 1 squared plus 10 squared. And uh, that uh, denominator there will give us the square root of 102. So we we'll have our unit normal there will be i minus j plus 10k divided by the square root of 102. So this vector here is the unit normal to this level curve, which we're given x minus y plus z squared is equal to 3.